we realise the value of imagination more so now than ever. The beauty of telling stories with puppets is that you can suspend disbelief. Imagination is critical. The more that we can feed imagination and talk about possibility, the better our chances. Without imagination, we can't um, vision a, a better world, can we? So imagination is extremely important. Um, right out, yes, and you can do that, yes. So we're here at the uh, Terrapin offices in Hobart. The company emerged out of the Tasmanian Puppet Theatre, which was a, a company that was very active in the 60s and 70s. And out of the Tasmanian Puppet Theatre, Jennifer Davidson, who uh, was a designer, established Terrapin. When you're working with puppetry, you can do many things that you can't do with other forms of storytelling or other forms of theatre. A puppet can actually defy gravity. A puppet can move in extreme slow motion. Nothing else on stage can do death like a puppet can do death. When a person dies on stage and is there as a dead body, well, we all know that they're not dead. But when a puppet dies, we believe that it's dead just as we've believed that it's alive. I think what makes puppetry so special is its ability to um, create a heightened experience in the theatre. It can take us out of our time into another world and really flex our capacity for empathy. I think for me still what draws me to it is the extraordinary effect puppetry has on audiences, especially when there's a multi-generational audience watching it because when adults and children are in the theatre together watching a puppet come to life, there's an extraordinary joining where adults, in a sense, are returned to a childhood state. That is a very wonderful place to have an audience in because you can really speak to an audience in ways that you may not be able to in conventional theatre when, when the audience are in that quite vulnerable state having watched uh, a puppet. Deal again with the neck hole. I've been making puppets since I was about 17 and I got my first job at the age of 19 making puppets. I've been learning and making things up and making mistakes ever since and I'll probably do that till the day I die. Probably what has drawn me to puppet theatre is just the breadth of things there are to think about. On a daily basis I use creative skills, thinking about colour and form and texture, but I also use the engineering side of my brain and storytelling, so I try to build in character into the puppets that I make and whatever story they need to tell, that needs to be embodied in the way that it moves and the way that its face looks. When I began, puppetry wasn't something that you could learn in a formal setting. I learned a lot from the people in the workshop, the designers that I worked with. People on the whole are very generous with their knowledge and their ideas and I try to make that an exchange so if I have anything to offer then I would offer it freely. I think failure is an important part of the process. Uh, my book, my sketchbook is riddled with red marks because I've made so many puppets now that I sort of forget the lessons that I've learned. I think the most important part of a puppet making process is getting the movement right. When they don't move in a realistic way, it sort of collapses your ability to suspend disbelief and be drawn into the story. There is a moment when you are building a puppet, when you gloss the eyes is when the life comes into it. The reason that I get up in the morning and come to work is because it's an open challenge and I still can't believe my luck that I've made a living as a puppet maker. Aliens by Aliens by My name is Nathan Maynard, I'm a tall away man from Larapuna country, Little Wita Tassie, and I'm a storyteller. This is a not so traditional story. It's a story written by myself but developed with Terrapin um, Puppet Feeder Company. It's a family show that touches on Little Wita's dark history. 
but in a way that's fun and palatable for children. Yeah, we, we just stash in the veggies amongst the spaghetti bog. I actually started with Terrapin in, in this here um, room. I just got cast as an actor out of nowhere. I was actually working for, um, in land management and I, I had to go audition for the show, got my role and just fell in love with theatre and thought what a deadly platform to tell my people's stories. And I get to be in my imagination every day and I get to play, I, I get to be in story. For us especially, story is how we pass on culture, is how we pass on history. We're all story. At Terrapin, what we hope is that we are engaging as many people as possible to understand just how important imagination is. The beauty of telling stories with puppets is that you can almost write the rules of the game, of the world that you're exhibiting, and it becomes a beautiful way to sketch alternatives. When you are telling story with puppets, you are always telling something heightened. You are telling something that goes beyond the possible and really takes us away to another place.